hi guys welcome back in this react js video tutorial we are going to learn about the uh, render method in the react js so let's get started and first of all i want to tell you some important key points about the render method then we will start the practically so first thing is this is the part of react js life cycle and actually this is the most important part according to me because you do not render the class component without this so guys uh, in the react js we can make the component with through of class and be, uh, with the through of the functions and all but uh, render method must present if your component is kind of class in the uh, function component you may just simply return the value but in the class if uh, you don't have the render method you cannot uh, simply return the value so second thing is a uh, render method uh, will take the virtual dom and it will automatically re-render when your state is changed or your proxy change let's suppose uh, you have a function here and in this the you can see that you have a uh, state name uh, name state and in this function you just change the state name then just after the changing the state uh, render method will automatically update and the only part which you need to update it will only uh, update otherwise nothing will going to update here and same is happening with the props if you uh, if you are component uh, getting some props from your parent component then it will still render if you get a single one props or you just uh, get the changing in the props it will re-render and uh, now let's we can see that with the practical example so in this uh, example what we are going to do we will do uh, checking out uh, re-render on state and props and then we will check uh, how we can put the condition in render and mm, use JSX, JSX in render alright so let's start with them so first of all I am going to just put something here like console dot one I'm going to check here render testing alright so now I'll just come up with the front end here and you are we see that uh, we just got the rendering here so I'm going to make a function here with the test function and here I'm going to update the state this dot set state and changing the name with the Sam alright so now just create a button here we can put the text between them this is test and write your own click and we have to use the uh, arrow function and if you are not familiar with the arrow function then don't worry we have uh, another video on my channel you can watch this also so I'm going to just write here this one so let's check that yes um, but I'm not able to see that uh, I I'm not able to see my state here so I'm going to put my state here this this dot state dot name so I'm just by default I'm seeing here Ryan and just I'm clicking on the test the state is going to change 
and whenever state is going to change render will automatically come that means the console.1 should be print here so let's see how we can do that so I'm going to click on this on the test and you can see that render testing it's updated it's again update so this is the way how we can uh, uh, change the state and you can see that on the every time when state is changed render it called once again so if you want to see in the HTML you can see here alright just open it alright so Sam is here like I just uh, ref going to refresh here and you will see that only one render will going to call here nothing will going to change here when I'm going to click on the test you can see that only h2 will render again otherwise nothing is going to again render because it's a virtual DOM and so now let's uh, check how we can put the conditions in the render method so here I am going to put the condition like first of all name is null by default alright so when I am going to check here nothing is going to show so I will check I am going to put here uh, let I want to check that if a name is not equal to null or name have some values then show me some text so I am going to put like this this dot state dot name that means if this is not null and means that there is some value then what you will going to show then in the div side it will show you mm, not null now name is not null now alright so else it will show you mm, name is null now alright so you see here you can see that uh, just zoom out once so you can watch the clearly so now you can see that name is null now because by default in the uh, constructor we put the state equal to null and I am going to click on that and after the clicking on this uh, state will be changed null to sam then here we will get the text state is not null now state is not null now so with this uh, you can put the condition here or you can uh, say that the condition in JSX so after that let's check out on the how it is uh, is it rendering again on the coming of probes so for that uh, I'm going to delete this one Mm -mm. just delete this one and create one more class here very simple class with the no too much data so I'm going to delete the extra things here so delete this one delete this also just put here simple div H1 tag also so here right uh, hello and we are going to put here this dot props dot name all right if we got the name then it will show here and uh, render is also working again with the console dot one right here child render 
own probes. All right. So we will pass the value from here. Uh, okay, just import. Put the name is home. And import it here. And pass here name equal to this dot state dot name and let's check we got nothing by default here because not our uh, state is null by default here you can see that i am just going to update the state here with the name of sam then you will see that the render of child component will be uh, re-render let's see uh, you will match the text here it's right here I we got the same here and you can see that child is rendered on the probes on the every click all right so this is the main things which is uh, happening in the uh, render function of react.js and some important things are you never update the value without the event of uh, uh, event of any uh, button or input otherwise it will uh, update the con cons uh, continuously for example i want to show you that like this dot set state here just write the name kelly and let's see what's going on here so you can see that we got the render update again and again why it's happened because we just update the state here and the render again update uh, and it will uh, it will uh, perform the this operation this operation again and just updating after the state render will call once again so this is making the loop here so that uh, we cannot do that so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you uh, have still any confusion you can ask me in the comment box so don't forget to subscribe this channel and please like our video and share also so thanks guys thanks for watching this video